Hi everybody, hello, bonjour everybody. My name is Belda. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for you to be here. And uh, that's actually gonna be the first video of 2023. And uh, I'm very happy to just show you how to do Rihanna's look from the Super Bowl. Oh my gosh, you guys, she killed it okay she was pregnant i think i love the announcement it was so um you know creative of her she had the whole stage for herself which it's incredible but while i'm saying all of these kind of things let's just go ahead and just start okay all right so what i've done you probably know and you can probably see i did my eyebrow but my eyebrows i probably want to redefine it um i will definitely use eyelashes and all these kind of things i'm gonna do my foundation because right now i'm just having like a little tinted moisturizer and i did define my lips with a lip liner but that was a while ago right now let's go ahead and do um and recreate actually rihanna's look from the super Bowl. what's today 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 it is the 13th yeah so tomorrow it's february 14th so it's going to be valentine's day so maybe we can do that for valentine's day tomorrow so guys i'm gonna show you all the things that i'm gonna use let's get started so yeah i'm gonna use a concealer just to hide a little bit of my uh, imperfection that actually i can see so this my over here and you can probably see or maybe not i have one patch right here because i have a pimple right there and another one right there if you can see it perfect <laughs> so yeah i don't know did you guys watch the uh super bowl that's that was something great i have to admit i watch it just because i um wanted to see rihanna so and all the commercial that actually they had going on over there and uh because you know i'm not a real fan of uh football i'm a fan of soccer <laughs> because maybe you all know that yes i came from overseas and i came from france and uh, we all watch you know soccer like we get like so excited because i live here so I've, I've been trying to you know get used to um the super bowl and try to adapt and so i try my best to kind of you know watch that sometimes but yeah, what is your favorite sport? If actually you are a sport fanatic, um, let's see. Up. So of course I will start just like blending, just to really redefine really my eyebrows. And sometimes what I do, I use a uh, my foundation. So when I use my foundation, I go ahead and just do this like that. And then, there we go. Clean up the top with the foundation. When I was younger, I used to uh, clean up with the same concealer that I was using, but I found out that it was way too light. Uh, there we go. And I always blend like blending is my favorite so what I let my concealer sitting I usually take care of my eyebrows but yes so the Super Bowl yesterday was you know I didn't watch it just for the team because I'm not really into it like that excited about you know the Rihanna show um and that is so funny because I was watching it and then I go wait hold on a second look she prayed it <laughs> and we're like oh my god oh, yes baby number two baby number two and then when she got in the sky and she started to like you know um touch her belly we were like yep yeah, this is confirmed that's it so now I just go ahead and set the concealer that I just applied. Oh, but right now, I'm so sorry, Riri. I'm sorry. I use Laura Mercier uh, setting um, powder. But I promise you, 
I will buy it once I get done with this one. I just set with the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I use this one is the darker shade I think it is hold on, I'm gonna tell you the medium to deep this is the one that I use for my under eye but I use two different powders though actually probably three so when this one is done because you know you can still see like a little uh like there's too much products right here i don't know if you can see it but i see it so what i do most of the time is just either i blend it with the concealer that is left on the brush and i blend it there it goes now it's gone and then i use max studio fix the shade c5 it's very bright it's a very bright color but i'm gonna just you see it's like a light bright color and i'm gonna just pop that right there much so last year it was a lot going on but you know um i was able to go on vacation in a we the contour is real y'all <laughs> a lot of contouring actually on her forehead so i guess i'm gonna do the same so yeah we needed uh some vacation and uh so we decided to go to um orlando oh my gosh orlando was so good gosh the weather over there jesus i was just like uh can we move down here is it possible <laughs> but um we went to the universal video uh, studio so i am pretty sure i will do a youtube video very soon if i have the time but i pr i promise you guys i'm gonna edit it so like that it's gonna be ready at least like within two weeks or something like that hopefully like we went to bars and things like that like it was very nice um people over there too like they were very nice with us um i really don't have to complain about anything okay here i'm using the nars foundation and you know sometimes it's a little too um heavy so what i do this is my secret i use the nars foundation which is the the soft matte this one the shade is macau so what i do i use a uh serum and that serum is a brightening serum you have also hyaluronic acid in it you also have a uh, vitamin c like you it's a serum that has multiple ingredients and uh, i mix it with my foundation so like this it's not too heavy and it gives me like a you know a light to medium uh coverage okay look at that guys i was just talking and talking and i totally forget to do like to really do my eyebrows so i use the benefit some um, brow styles Oops. so here like in the front i always mimic the hairs there i go and then when I come here, I just go ahead and gosh, I have a bump right there. I wish it can just disappear, but it looks like it's not gonna happen today so whenever i put all the creamy products um on my face 
I don't think I need to add anything else. So let me see. No. So I just go ahead and spray. So it can be whatever spray that you want. Here today I'm going to use the blue light filter uh, from Ilya. I love this one because it does protect you from, you know, all those lightings and it does set your makeup as well so this right now what i'm doing is just i want to set my foundation because i want it to stay for a long period of time and you know all that mm, i love the smell of it like it smells so good <gasps> gosh all right i'm feeling like my lips need a little bit of hydration before i go ahead and put all those red lipstick i up. use again ilia lip mask Okay, Riri, I know you got a new lip mask out there, and I swear, the moment I'm done with your balm, I'll definitely try yours. Mm. Yes, guys, you just comment down below if actually you would like to do a whole tutorial with our Fenty Beauty makeup. That will be maybe something that you're probably interested in let me know now that my lips feels you know hydrated let's keep on going so right now i'm just applying that's you Rary. so fenty beauty uh universal invisible matte just under my eye because i don't want it to crease I really don't want the concealer to crease. That's what I meant. And uh, you will see me doing it as well over here, right there, and right here because I. L so my pores are not large, but <clears throat> throughout the day I do not want to be oily, especially in my in the T zone. So I most of the time pop some powder right here for Mariri because this one is the bomb.com. So yeah, so 2023 was just like, oh my gosh, okay, this year, what needs to uh, what need to happen? I know I have plans to go, you know, to overseas. So keep watching. When you go to France, don't just stay in France go around like you have belgium you have like england what and then go to go to germany too go to the south of france south of france is so beautiful you have Cannes, you have uh aix-en-provence i love aix-en-provence you have like those little beautiful hotel and ah yeah i just cannot wait all right so what i also noticed with uh re uh, rihanna's makeup so it looks like she has a like bronzer or you know a transition color let's try with a bronzer first let's see with the bronzer so for the bronzer i use mocha mami and it's uh the fenty one so i'm gonna just pop that right there yeah it looks like it's that color because it's a little reddish um transition color that she has i didn't contour my nose yet and nothing like that but i will in a little bit Up. all right and then i'm gonna apply some here and i kind of try to go down And since I have the bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and apply the bronzer too on me. I usually use this bronzer um, as my bronzer, but also as my blush because it's a little reddish color. And I love bronzers like that because if I don't have the time to put some blush, I just go ahead and use it as a blush. I'm about to apply some Charlotte Tilbury... Um, Actually, I want to use, you know, this color right here. So let's go ahead just to have a little definition. On the eye, it looks like she's using either an eyeliner that has um, sparkles. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use, because I don't have that. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use the Sunlight Bronze from um, Bobbi Brown. Um, it's a long wear gel eyeshadow, but I'm going to use it as a eyeliner. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, so that's how it looks like. I am sorry guys, but I had to finish this look. 